In this video I'm going to show you how to use the pencil sketch Photoshop action. So the way that it actually works is you open up your photo and you just play the action and here is the effect that the action creates. So as you can see what the action does, it transforms the photo into a pencil sketch and the result that you get are fully layered so there is a lot of options for customizing the result that you get uh, and the action creates a lot of different um, sketch layers that you can use individually or combine to create many different uh, types of sketch a lot of different styles All right so I just close this window so before you use the action there are just a few things you should check uh, just to make sure that the action will run without any errors so the first thing you should check is that the photo is the background layer so it should be called background and here this little lock icon and if you have something like this or anything else just go to layer new and choose a background from layer then click on this menu icon over here and choose panel options and make sure that this option here the add copy to copy layers and groups is checked then go to the image mode and make sure your photo is the RGB color mode 8-bit channel you can also check the image size from here so for best results you should use images that are around from 20 to 40, 4500 pixels wide or high Okay. to load the action just go to window actions click on the menu icon over here load actions and just choose the action from a folder according to your Photoshop version select the action file, choose load and all you have to do now is to just select the action here inside the folder and click play and I'm going to fasten the video here and I'm going to get back when the action is finished then I'm going to go throughout all the layers to show you how each layer works, how it affects design and how can you customize it alright so the action has just finished so I'm just going to close the actions panel and I'm going to spend a little bit of this layers panel Right, so the first thing you probably want to do each time you run the action is to just quickly close down all these folders. So how can you quickly do that? You just hold Control and Alt buttons for PC or Command Option for a Mac. And while the pencil sketch folder is selected, just click on this little arrow here. And on that way, we're going to close down uh, all the folders. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to hide all the layers and then I'm going to start any one one by one because on that way you'll better understand how each layer works, how it affects the design, and how can you customize it so I'm just going to hide them all and I'm going to start customizing these effects from the bottom so the first layer we got here is the background layer or our original photo layer alright so the next we got here is the background color so you can just double click on this layer a thumbnail and here you can choose any color for the background that you like alright I'm just going to keep it default so I'm just going to turn on the list of folders and what we got here is the textures folder Alright, so when you open up the folder, you find two layers here the noise texture and the paper texture. Just gonna zoom in so you can better see details. Alright, so this is the paper texture, it's very subtle. Right, and this is the noise texture. So you can uh, change the opacity of the textures and all the layers that you customize by changing the opacity you can change the opacity either by clicking on the word opacity and drag it aside or you can click on this little arrow here and then just drag this slider left or right okay so I'm just gonna keep it default and the next we got here is the shading right so just gonna open up the folder and what we got here are the two shading uh, layers so what you can do is you can just change the opacity of these layers to give a different look. So I'm just gonna set it like this, and I'm gonna adjust the opacity of this layer. So you can see how you can completely change the look of the sketch by changing the opacity of the single layer. Okay, and there is a really lot of sketch layers. Um, and many possible uh, styles can be achieved with customizing of these layers right so what we got next is the basic sketch so just gonna turn it on and again you can just change the opacity right they're just gonna leave it default and the next what we got here is the smooth sketch so just gonna turn it on and I'm just gonna adjust the opacity. Okay, 
The next that we got here is the outline sketch. Just gonna turn it on. Again, you can adjust the opacity here. And we also notice that all these sketch layers have the layer masks. So if any of these sketch layers have some details that you don't like, simply select the layer mask of that layer and pick a brush tool. Choose a salt brush, set for your color to black, and simply brush over any areas where you wish to remove the specific layer that you selected. Alright? Just like this. So it may happen that some sketch layers um, doesn't look good on some area and you just select its layer mask and brush with the black and remove that layer on that specific area. Okay? So the next we got here is the draft sketch. Alright? So when you open the folder you find uh, it's a layer, so there is uh, several uh, different draft sketch layers. Okay, so just gonna turn them all one by one, create their parts so you can see how they work. Okay. I'm just going to keep the default. And the next we got is the row sketch. Okay. And again, you can just change the opacity of these layers. Just like that. So as you can see, each of these sketch layers produce a different sketch style. So then you can further adjust it by changing its opacity or brushing into the layer mask. And you can then, of course, combine them. You can use um, you can use all of the sketch layers or you can simply hide some of the layers, uh, which is exactly what we're going to do uh, in a moment. Just uh, let's turn on uh, this layer here as well, so this is the reveal details layer. So I'm just gonna change its opacity. So this layer is really going to pop out a lot of details and it's going to give uh, some kind of a 3D look to the sketch. Alright, so now what you can do is, as I have mentioned, you can simply hide some of the layers, for example, you hide the shading layers and have this uh, outline sketch look, or you can simply leave the shading and hide the outline layers uh, and get this clean shaded sketch, or simply use any other combination. Okay, so What I'm going to do here in this example is I'm going to hide these two folders. I'm going to leave the shading folder and I'm going to turn on these three layers here. So I'm going to uh, get this uh, clean sketch look. Okay. And the next layer we got here is the colorized sketch layer. So when you turn it on, you're going to colorize the whole sketch with the colors of your original photo. So what you can do then is you can turn on any of these layers here to isolate some specific color and uh, if you select the reds only uh, layer, turn it on, you're going to uh, leave only the reds color in your photo. All other colors are going to be turned black and white. Okay. So you can use yellows only, greens only, cyans only, blues only, or magentas only. Okay, and we don't have this uh, color in the photo, that's why uh, the whole photo just ends up uh, being black and white. And what you can also do is you can uh, turn on this layer, for example, then double click here and make any further adjustments to these settings. So if you just uh, keep changing here to the color, you'll see that all colors uh, are 
uh, saturation of other color is set uh, to minus 100 so they're completely black and white except the colors that you chose here okay and what you can do uh, is to further adjust these settings here of the uh, color so you can further adjust these uh, specific range here okay so for example if you're going to use this one and when you select the color here this small range is the range of the colors that are going to be affected with these saturation they're going to be desaturated right and these two sliders here are just going to fade that uh, transition so what you can do you can always make that transition to be more visible okay just like that and what you can also do is to expand this range here so as you can see here we got a little bit of this green color so we're just gonna select the yellows here and I'm going to expand a little bit this this range so it's going to also get some of the green colors here in the range so the greens uh, are going to also be uh, desaturated uh, uh, completely all right so you can just adjust this range always uh, you can expand it or contract it uh, the farther adjust uh, the which colors you wish to keep and which not okay so you can do the same for any of these colors so what we did here we just expanded a little bit this range to get the green color in this range as well and desaturate the green color okay and uh, what you need to know is that in this example we got uh, reds uh, fully visible so you don't uh, we don't need to make any uh, changes here nothing will be visible just like these other colors so if you select the yellows the yellows will be untouched so you adjust these other colors okay and in this example I'm just going to leave uh, the whole sketch to be colorized so I'm not going to use any of these color layers and what we got here next is the other contrast so just going to turn it on and how just the contrast is just change the opacity just like this Right. The next that we got here is the aura brightness. You can double click here, and now using these five sliders, you can adjust the brightness of the photo. This slider here is going to boost the shadows. This one here is going to boost the highlights. This one here is affecting the midtones, and you can use this one here to fade the shadows or this one here to fade the highlights. Okay. I'm just gonna keep it default. And the next layer we got here is the overall situation, so you're just going to double click here and you can move the slider to increase or decrease the saturation of the colors in your photo. So I'm just going to say it like this. And the next we got here is the overall sharpening layer, so just going to turn it on. If you made any changes to the layers here, for example, you hide some layer. Uh, you increase the opacity of some layer, uh, removed some specific area of some layer and the other. So if you literally made any changes here, you need to create this layer again as well. So how to do that? You just delete this layer and press Ctrl and Alt, Shift and D or Command Option, Shift and D on your keyboard to make a screenshot. Then press Ctrl or Command Shift U to desaturate the photo. Go to Filter, Other, High Pass and Set Radius to 1 pixel okay and change the blending mode to vivid light All right and what you can do now is to just uh, adjust the sharpening by changing the opacity of this layer I'm just gonna do it like this All right and let's just quickly check the before and after effect so this is a before effect and this is the after so once more you can use any of these layers, you can hide some layers, you can adjust the layers, make any combination of the layers that you like and always achieve a different uh, sketch look 
and a different uh, final result, right? So I hope you understood everything, but if you still need any help or you got any questions, feel free to contact me anytime via my Envato profile page. Thanks for watching.